Okay, everyone, I'd like to recognize legislator Rob Sassy for the purpose of a press conference, and I would ask that all legislators fill in behind in the bullpen area. Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Orange County Legislature. Uh, my name is Rob Sassy. I'm a legislator from District 18, which represents the town of Crawford and the town of Wallkill. And I am very pleased today to be presenting a check to the Tri-County Partnership and Hope Not Handcuffs through the Orange County Police Chiefs Association to combat the ongoing opioid epidemic. When I was elected, prior to being elected, I had plugged into the Tri-County Partnership, who you're going to hear from in a moment, to learn more about what was going on. As an educator, I lost, started to see many of my former students succumb to this deadly epidemic. And even though recent statistics were announced that 69,000 people uh, lost their lives last year and it's a trend downwards, it's still an unacceptable number. One of those parents is here tonight, Bob and your wife Denise it is. Diane, Diane I'm sorry, Diane are here. Their son Billy I had in class and Billy I know and Billy was one of those victims. And I said to Bob earlier, Bob, not one more. And if there's anything we can do in memory of your son, Billy, and all those others that have tragically lost their lives, we will. Law enforcement is changing in our nation. As we know, New York State, we know that it's changing. We all know there's an ugly epidemic. There are so many great agencies I've learned along this journey. Uh, our commissioner of mental health is here today, Darcy Miller. Everybody's fighting the fight. But this particular program gets right to the root of it, getting to those victims before they become a deadly victim and trying to get them the help that they desperately need. So I'd like to thank my fellow legislators. This has been a bipartisan effort. Everybody agrees, every district is affected. Everybody knows someone that's been affected. I'd like to thank our county executive, our district attorney, they're all behind this. The entire county is behind this. It may be a small token, but it goes a long way. And today we're going to provide some desperate funding for Hope Not Handcuffs to get the, the help that these folks need. If we can eliminate the, the, the drug and we can eliminate the desire for it and get them the help, then we can make a difference in the opioid epidemic. Thank you again to my fellow legislators, my opioid committee, uh, our police agencies, 10 or 11 and counting. Our volunteers are here. You see the folks in the, in the blue um, t-shirts. They, they are called angels, they're volunteers. The program contains volunteers. These are people who want to give back. These are people in our community, every single district, that have lost a loved one and they want to do something to help. How wonderful is that? So without further ado, I'd like to present this check to Annette Cars, the uh, chairman or chair lady of, or president, what do you go by now? Well, president of Tri-County Partners, she has some of her board members here, the Lucidos are here, I see. I'd like to present this check on behalf of the Orange County Legislature for $10,000 for the purpose of its use with, for hopes, not handcuffs. Thank you very much. Here you go, Annette. Okay, Annette, would you like to say a few words, please? Sure. Yes. I wrote a few things down just because I'm not comfortable at the podium generally. I like to be a little bit more behind the scenes, but I, it's important that I didn't want to forget anyone. So I just wanted to say, um, you heard my name is Annette Cars. I'm the president of the Tri-County Community Partnership and the program director of the Hope Not Handcuffs Hudson Valley program. On behalf of the more than 500 angel volunteers, I would like to thank the Orange County Legislature and the Orange County Chiefs Association for this generous donation. Hope Not Handcuffs is a PARI program designed to help those suffering from addiction find immediate treatment. Local participating police departments, some you see here today, through the use of community volunteer angels, help people find treatment options. We will use these generous resources to reach out to those in need, to teach them about the program, and to let them know exactly where to get the help they so deserve. I truly believe that community involvement creates a cultural shift. I just want to say thank you to all of you very much.
Thank you very much. A couple more angels are coming in. We're joined also by Laura Beck. Laura is here. Laura also lost her son, Ethan, to this ugly epidemic. So, epidemic. so in memory of Ethan, in memory of Billy, and all the other victims of this ugly epidemic, let's do something. Let's move forward here by helping these great organizations, as well as all the other organizations that exist in Orange County, from ADAC, Catholic Charities, uh, our, our Commissioner of Mental Health, Dorsey Miller. There's so many great people doing great things and all together we can get there, and I hope that we do. Just one last thing, yesterday in the city of Middletown, uh, another call was made by a frantic parent. They needed help for their child, and they got that help. An angel appeared and got the help that that person needed. If we can save one life, isn't it worth it? I think it is. First, I want to thank you. This has been your mission since you came in as a county legislator. We're all proud of you here. And you want to make a difference based on your personal experience, your past students, you mentioned it. Uh, the police chiefs partnering with the Hope Sound Handcuff are going to be really critical going forward. Uh, I believe not only do we have a, a horrible situation today, but it's going to get worse. Uh, 1201, January 1st this year, we're going, to, we, we would, we're going to be letting go if it was today. 200 people that are incarcerated in Orange County Jail, ma majority on narcotics charges. What's going to happen to those folks? How are we going to protect them from overdosing on drugs or getting back into the business? Effective January 1st, 2001, this year, if somebody's caught up, 2020, sorry, I just came back, I'm getting my seed legs back. Uh, if you're caught in front of Orange County Government Center with 20 pounds of heroin, you will be released within three hours. These are some of the challenges that we're going to have to work together. There's not a place that the sheriff uh, and the DA and I go to. We go to schools on a regular basis with Darcy Miller and ADAC to talk about the impacts of, of overdose. And parents are in the audience, and they're pleading with us on helping on how to do that. So we have our work cut out for us, but these partnerships are really the ones that are going to make the difference and change the world. So I want to thank you all, and I want to thank my friend Rob Sassy, county legislator, for making this happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Miller, are you here? Do you want to say something quickly, Commissioner Miller? Good afternoon. I, I think everything's really been said that needs to be said, except that I can't imagine a time when we need all the stakeholders at the table as we do today, and we have them. Our county executive, our district attorney, Legislator Sassy has met with me for countless hours and many providers throughout this community, the support of all of the legislators, our Chairman Brescia, but really, when it comes down to how do we get the work done, the passion that Annette has brought forward, and um, it makes me emotional to think about, is really her commitment, her grassroots effort. All of you angels, all of you have been touched by addiction in your lives, some who have lost loved ones to the challenge of addiction. I thank you for your giving back, and I know that you will be part of the solution today and for bail reform and that great impact it will have on our community. So thank you, and congratulations. Thank you. And once again, thank you to all of our angel volunteers because you are on the front lines doing a terrific job. It's, it's incredible what we're faced with, and we're fortunate to have all of you. And our police officers, they're the first responders, and uh, they could probably, probably write a book on what they've seen. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great afternoon.